The family of the 27 year old businessman, Abed Donko, and the group calling itself Justice for Abed Donko Movement in the Nkwaza Sub Municipality of the Bulu East Region are calling for justice for the late businessman who died in the hands of the Nkwaza Police Command. Abed Donko was picked up by the Nkwaza Police Command on April 25, 2022, on suspicion of being a robber, but was later pronounced dead by the police. The uncle of the deceased, Reverend Father Matthias Sakode, has been telling the news steps the family have taken. No, yeah, they are some of the bar court, a crown high court. Yeah, of course, some money my uh, man for you. As am I, RGP. So, yeah, this year I'll be the best. Um, yeah, Tibbet can Tibbet Fano and my yes, if no, Bebe Fano, now Otiasi, or Monfa, a crown on your day and my. It is a yellow yano. I got to the regional commander over here. Sir Omunfa Omun report. Emano na ono so ko fale isu no wo Supreme Court. Eti many a by and many a pani na yeyi na odi asem na ni omu konkra. The convener of the Justice for Abed Donko Movement, Nana Ajay Bafo, is calling for justice for the late Abed Donko. Um, all that we demand and all that we ask him for is your justice for our brother. We just want justice for our brother, Albert Donko. So, through the justice that we demand or we ask him or we seek him for by the people of Inkwanza, the youth of Inkwanza, and all the people of Inkwanza, we ask him for, we want the IGP, the president, to intervene. Um, the, 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 and the human rights activists should intervene. Opinion leaders, leaders should uh, um, um, intervene. International communities should intervene. And in their intervention should bring us justice for our brother. And through the justice, we are making our own recommendations. What we're saying is that, that the president or the IGP should step in. So whilst he's stepping in, he should publish the policemen that are involved in this particular incident. I'm not going to